Let's clap our hands one more time and give God the best praise that you've got. Come on, you can do better than that. Give him the best praise that you've got. Now, midweek church is a little bit different than Sunday church because people that come out during the midweek, you're expecting something. Just look at somebody and say, I sure am expecting something. And I just need you to cooperate with me. Look at somebody and say, cooperate with me. Because this blessing is coming all the way down my road. So come on, let's try it one more time and give God a real good praise. Come on, give him a real good praise. Hallelujah. While we are standing and we are celebrating the Lord, the Bible says, and he gave some. And surely this man of God, amen, is in that governmental sum, amen. He is a learned man of God. He's a great dad. He's a great grandfather, amen. But he's an amazing pastor, amen. Agape, will you help me celebrate the senior gift of this great house, the Dr. Lawrence Powell? He's got to hear you all the way out there. Amen. I told him it's time to come home now. Amen. Your babies want to see you and your church want to see you. Amen. But we thank God for him. Amen. He is so humble in spirit, but he is an amazing man of God. Does Agape agree with me? Amen. Amen. And then will you help me celebrate this woman of God, Dr. O? She is so unassuming in so many ways, but she is so hip, amen. I don't know if they say that no more, but she's so hip, amen. She'll come up with something you ain't heard of in forever, amen. But we love her, don't we, amen. Amen. I'm just delighted to be back here. I promise you I won't, I won't delay the hour. Will you grab your neighbor by the hand and say, will you pray with me tonight? That whatever God's going to show you, he'll show it to you in these next 60 days. Most gracious Father, we bless you and we thank you for the opportunity and privilege that you always give to us. Thank you for being kind and gracious to us. Thank you for keeping us all day long. Thank you for you permitted us to go on the highways and buses and trains and nothing hurt us or harmed us. And so we just want to take this moment even now and say thank you. And so God, we squeeze that neighbor's hand and we speak a word of faith into that neighbor that blessings are, is on their left and blessings are on their right. God, we pray for that neighbor that you would strengthen my neighbor in the name of Jesus. We thank you for this year of manifestation. We thank you that you shall manifest mighty and great things. And so God, we agree with what we have heard thus far that God, this is our season. And so we bless you and we thank you for making us a part of this great season we pray for those that are in on online God in the name of Jesus that God even the airways would feel the anointing and that God their lives would be changed and never remain the same again we pray that even now that Dr. Powell will arrive safely back home without hurt harm or danger and God I pray that you would use me one more time for your glory and for your honor and go God that we would give you another yes Lord even tonight we'll say yes to your will and yes to your way you always do something supernatural for us so now do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can even ask or think we'll put a praise on everything that you do because praise is who we are and praise is calmly for the believer in Jesus his name we do pray will you clap your hands and give God a great praise <laughs> hallelujah glory to God amen I have, amen, I just want to say this. Look at somebody and say, if you came in here sick, I want to tell you that divine healing is already in the house. And by the time you leave out of here tonight, everything will be better. Every ache will be better. Every symptom will be better. Because you're in a season of divine healing. Will you clap your hands? 
Amen. Open your Bibles. Let's go to the book of Romans. Surely I had a great time on Sunday. Amen. I just like having church. Amen. And I love the word of God for the word of God is rich. Romans chapter 4 verse number 19. When you have it say I'm with you. I didn't hear nobody over on this side. Amen. Romans chapter number 4. Amen. Verse number 19. And it reads, and being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body, now dead, when he was about 100 years old, neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. He staggered not at the promises or the promise of God through unbelief. Somebody say unbelief. But was strong in faith, giving glory to God and being fully persuaded. Look at somebody and say fully persuaded. That what he had promised, he was able also to perform. And the word of the Lord is blessed. Amen. Now, I'm not going to change the subject. It's just going to be part two. So look at somebody and say, I can't wait to see it part two. <laughs> have your seat for a moment. It is without question, amen, that we have decreed and declared that this is the year of manifest. Somebody talk back to me now. Look at somebody and say, things are getting ready to manifest. Yeah. That means that whatever you have not been able to see with the natural eye, you're getting ready to see it. Many of us have been in a place since last year that we've been anticipating or expecting God to do something that we've never seen. But you've got to start decreeing and declaring every day that this is my year of manifest. I don't hear nobody on this side. Look at somebody and say, I'm going to talk to you a whole lot because I'm expecting God to have some things manifesting for me by the month of February. And so if you're going to be quiet, you're the wrong person for me to sit next to. Uh, and so as we look at this, we clearly understand that manifest is to be able to obviously see something in the natural eye. Most of the things that we are waiting for are already released in the spirit realm. Look at somebody and say they've already been released. God is just working on you to get you ready for what he's getting ready to give you. Y'all talk back to me tonight, I promise you. Look at somebody and say God is just waiting on me to dot all my I's and cross all my T's. He's just waiting on me to make sure that all of the things that he has told me to do, that I I can go back to him and say, check this. Yes, I've been faithful. Check this. Yes, I'm a tither. Check this. Yes, I'm a worshiper. Check this. Yes, I'm a praiser. Check this. Yes, I love my enemies. Y'all ain't talking to me over here. Check this. He's just waiting to see how we can come up with this checklist. And so it is, as we look at this, we clearly understand that God does not have to delay, but he does not do anything before it's time. Look at somebody else and say, God never does anything before it's time. God never gives you a three-bedroom house and you're not taking care of a one-bedroom house. God never gives you a Bentley and you don't know how to take care of a Honda. God never gives you a six-figure salary and you don't know how to manage just a ten-figure. Oh, y'all ain't talking back to me. You've got to be very careful when you start anticipating what God is getting ready to give you that you clearly understand that God is not a sugar daddy. Tag somebody and say he's not a sugar daddy. Everything that he does he does it with a plan and a purpose uh, look at somebody and say God is not schizophrenic no 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 God is always on time uh, look at your neighbor and say neighbor I'm here on purpose uh, I don't care how you got here I don't care if it was an incident or accident tag somebody and say I was intended to be here the Bible says y'all better come on because I'm almost finished uh, Bible says by the time we get to the book of Jeremiah that even before he was conceived in his mother wound. Now, the Bible says that God had already designed him. He had already purposed him to be a prophet to the nations. Will you just look at somebody and say, I'm not here by incident or accident. I don't care what you know on me. I don't care what you thought you knew. I'm here because God intended me to be here. I've got purpose all over me. The fact that I'm still alive means that there's purpose on the inside of me. Y'all ain't talking back to me. Will you tag somebody and say, I've got purpose all over me. 
The reason that the devil could not take you down is because you got purpose. Uh, the reason that you keep coming and bouncing back, uh, tag somebody and say, I've got to bounce back, uh, is because you've got purpose on the inside of you. The reason that no weapon that's formed against you can't prosper is because you've got purpose on the inside of you. Somebody scream up in here and say, I've got purpose. It is then if you have purpose that God always has a plan for your life. Uh, God always has a map for your life. Uh, many are the plans of a man, but God has a divine plan. Uh, look at somebody and say, God has a divine plan. Uh, the Bible says that the steps of a good man, woman, boy, or girl are ordered by the Lord. I wish I had a prophetic church over here. Somebody just jump up and take two steps uh, and say, every day I'm having him to order my steps. Uh, he's ordering my life left step and my right step uh, he's deciding which way I need to go and how I'm going to get there I want to go left but God is pushing me to my right uh, I just want to pause because God is getting ready to do it look at somebody else and say I'm here on purpose is sit down two more minutes it is then as we look at this we clearly understand that we are now creatures of purpose uh, that's how come you've got to be very careful in this season that everybody's not talking into your ear gates uh, you've got to be very careful in this season uh, that you're not even talking outside of your what you know all the time uh, the bible says be slow to speak uh, tag somebody and say don't say everything that you're thinking uh, let them try to figure out what you're thinking uh, but but you've got to go back and rethink it again huh? because words have power. Huh? That's how come when you get up in the morning, you got to say, this is the day huh? that the Lord has made huh? and I shall rejoice huh? and be glad in it. Huh? Every time the devil comes on you, huh? you've got to say the, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Huh? Y'all ain't screaming at me on this side. Huh? You've got to get up in the morning and say, the Lord is my shepherd huh? and I shall not want. Huh? I may have two dollars but by the end of the day I'll have 20 y'all better scream back at me over here cause whatever God has for me it is for me is then as we look at this we clearly understand that we are men and women of purpose uh, uh, Dr. Powell has uh, been talking about purpose uh, continuously he started off the year talking about manifest your purpose push yourself in purpose uh, can I just sidebar just for a moment uh, everybody that you're hanging out with does not want you to come into your purpose uh, can I just say that again uh, everybody's not happy for you uh, you've got to learn how to press delete you've got to learn how to say if you can't be happy for me now you'll never be happy for me next week y'all better scream at me on this side tag somebody and say if you can't celebrate me right now you think I look busted now you better be able to celebrate me right where I am because this time next year things will have already changed as a matter of fact this time next month things will have already changed this time next week things will have already changed and you've got to be able to celebrate me right where I am it is then as we look at this we understand that many of us that are sitting here we're still trying to discover what our purpose is we're trying to discover what our passions are we're still trying to discover what our potential is tag somebody and say but I'm not going down as a matter of fact the more I try the more I try to figure this out the more God keeps pushing me into it look at your neighbor and say that's why I've got to hang out with people that say Hey, we can do this together I've got to hang out with people that can say I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me I've got to hang out with people that say forgetting those things that are behind me I press towards the mark of the high calling will you push somebody in their back and say whatever you do don't stop there's something waiting for you whatever you do don't give up yet there's a matter that's getting ready to come on whatever you do y'all ain't happy about it I wish I had 35 people to jump up and say manifest
message. Dr. Powell has been talking to us about purpose and potential. He's been talking to us about discover who you are. You cannot discover who you are when you're hanging around all the wrong people. You cannot discover who you are when you're letting the enemy tell you you cannot do it. That's when you've got to be able to say faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Whether you like me or not, I know what God said. Whether you understand where God is taking me, I know what his word says y'all ain't screaming back at me tag somebody and say there's one thing that I do know God is consistent and he that cometh to God must first believe that he is God and that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him you can come with me or I can go by myself I've got a reward because I keep looking for the right direction is then as we come to our text in the book of uh, the book of Romans uh, we pick this story up from Genesis uh, Genesis brings us to new beginnings uh, when you look at somebody and say I know you heard this before uh, but this really is your new season uh, when you look at them and prophesy uh, say this really is your new time uh, y'all ain't talking to nobody uh, if you want something you've got to decree it uh, the Bible says decree a thing and it shall be established uh, tag somebody and say whatever it was I'm out of 2017 and I just stepped into 2018 I'm about 20 some days in and things are getting ready to turn around because I can decree a thing and it shall be established I'm waiting for the manifest but while I'm waiting it's coming out of my mouth my new job is coming my money is coming y'all ain't screaming my new house is coming my promotion is coming my husband is coming my wife is coming my household is saved look at somebody and say decree it this book of Romans and the enemy always wants you to be quiet when you're at the brink of your breakthrough I said the enemy always wants you to not say what God has said on the inside of you. But tag somebody and say back up Satan. I'm getting ready to say everything that God said. He said I was the head and not the tail. He said I was the lender and not the borrower. Y'all ain't telling nobody. Tag somebody and say I'm coming up and I'm not borrowing anymore. Say I'm coming out of debt because debt is not who I am. I'm moving to a whole nother tax bracket because I can decree it and it shall be established. I've got potential to manifest the purpose of God. This story takes us from Genesis. Genesis, we are introduced to a man by the name of Abram. God changes his name to Abraham. And then God makes a covenant with him. Tag somebody and say, I'm a child of a covenant. <laughs> say, no matter what you got to say about me, I'm a child of a covenant. <laughs> say, there's covenant written across my forehead. <laughs> and it goes from generation to generation. <laughs> so my children's children <laughs> are a part of a covenant. <laughs> so no weapon that's formed against me, <laughs> it can't touch another generation. Because <laughs> I'm part of a... Abraham comes into this situation where his wife and he are now old. I'm giving you the abbreviated version of this. They've now come to a place where God has spoken to him and said that Sarah shall have a child. Tag somebody and say, if God, if God tells you to have a Mercedes, he didn't tell you to have a Nissan. If God tells you to have a three-bedroom, he didn't tell you to have a one-bedroom. Tag somebody and say, if I've got to wait, then I've just got to wait because I'm going to wait to get what God promised me. I'm not taking secondhand stuff any longer. Y'all ain't screaming back at me because some of us, we get frustrated 
We get annoyed when God doesn't move quickly enough. But tag somebody and say the best time to do it. The best thing to do while you're waiting. David said, wait on the Lord and be of good courage. Y'all ain't screaming back at me. I said, wait on the Lord and be of good courage. But while I'm waiting, I always know what a praise will do. I said, while I'm waiting, I always know what God would appreciate. Because praise is calmly for the believer. So while he's got me waiting, every now and then, I'll put a praise on it. I'll thank him before I get it. I'll praise him before it manifests. speaks to Abraham and said there is a child that Sarah shall have and this is where this text comes in but the thing that keeps him solid is his faith because the closer you get to manifest the more the enemy will taint your faith Y'all ain't screaming back at me. <laughs> Tag somebody and say, but I can smell it coming. <laughs> it's like a cake baking and I'm out even in the kitchen. <laughs> I smell something getting ready to happen. <laughs> and the more I smell the aroma of it, <laughs> looks like the more the enemy keeps trying to bring me down. <laughs> but pull on your neighbor and say, one can chase a thousand <laughs> and two can put 10,000 to the flight. <laughs> say, when I say yes, you say glory when I say thank you you say hallelujah when I say he's good you say he's great y'all ain't screaming over here but whenever I'm so close the enemy tries to destroy my blessing but tag somebody and say manifest yourself your faith has got to grow you've got to get up in the morning and say I believe God oh y'all cried up in here you've got to get on every door and write it on the mirror sometime and say I believe God that whatever he said it shall come to pass I said I see faith is to whom I believe who I wish I had a church <laughs> tag somebody and say when faith is in motion nothing can stop you let me talk to this side over here <laughs> when your faith is in motion <laughs> that's how come you have to wait until your steps are ordered <laughs> that's how come you've got to read the right stuff <laughs> that's how come every now and then you've got to read out loud <laughs> cause faith cometh by hearing <laughs> and hearing by the word of God <laughs> you gotta turn off the bowl and the beautiful <laughs> you gotta turn off Facebook <laughs> you gotta hook up to the word <laughs> and you gotta say what God God says I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth you've got to wake up in the morning say the Lord is my shepherd and I I shall not want put a table before me in the presence of my enemies it's going to be alright y'all better talk to me I I believe God. 
He says, so faith, Hebrew says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Positive expectation. Look at somebody and say, if I don't get my manifest until December 31st, I still got a positive expectation. The Bible says faith is a positive expectation. It's a positive thinking process. It means that no matter how it looks, you know who God is. And God is not a man that he should lie. Or the son of man that he should have to repent. <laughs> Tag somebody and say what he promised me. <laughs> he may not have promised it to you. <laughs> but if you and I praise him together. <laughs> we just might get the manifest at the same time. The Bible says that here now. Here now Abraham. <laughs> he's now old in age. <laughs> Tag somebody and say God will always. <laughs> he will always set you up. <laughs> so that you cannot get glory. <laughs> for what he getting ready to do. <laughs> Tag somebody and say what God's getting ready to do. <laughs> it had to be God. <laughs> it will have had to be God. <laughs> to clean up my credit like this. <laughs> it would have had to be God. <laughs> To change my status like this. Will you look at somebody and say God is getting ready to set me up. That's why it looks like I'm not going anywhere. But tag your neighbor and say no matter how it looks. I will not. I will not be weak in faith. But I'm getting ready to be just like Abraham. I'm not going to stagger. I'm not going to come down. I'm going to hold on until my change comes. I said hold on. He says I'm done. He says and being not weak in faith he considered not his own body now dead. When he was a hundred years old neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. You know your flake, your flesh will always be contrary to your spirit. If Abraham looked at himself, there was no Viagra. There was, there was nothing sexy about a 90 some year old woman that is potentially getting ready to have a child. Y'all better talk back to me. I, uh, you, some of us look at ourselves now and say, how did we get to this place? But, 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 but here now, the Bible says that they are both old, but they've got a promise. Tag somebody and say, I might be tired, <laughs> but I do have a promise. <laughs> and the Bible says that Abraham staggered not through at God through unbelief that's how come when God has given you a, a promise that there shall be a manifestation that's how come it becomes important that the people that you talk to are saying what you are saying <laughs> you've got to be careful that even you are saying what God is saying <laughs> y'all ain't screaming back at me <laughs> tag somebody and say no matter how it looks <laughs> I'm going to say what God says <laughs> the Bible says that he did not suffer <laughs> from unbelief <laughs> tag somebody and say if it don't ever happen <laughs> I'm going to keep right on believing God <laughs> because at the end of the day <laughs> he's just waiting for me <laughs> to just just step right in huh, to this next level of faith. Huh. The Bible says huh, that not only did he not have unbelief, huh, but that he believed God huh, so much so huh, that in the midst of it, huh, he gave glory back to God. Huh. Tag 
somebody and say right now I don't know what day God's going to do it but I do know I'm waiting to see the manifestation I'm not sure the exact hour or the time but I know right now that 2018 is the year of my manifest I said without a shadow of a doubt I know that God is getting ready to show us the best of his glory the best that he has will you grab somebody by the hand and say whatever you do get ready to see it he says and being fully persuaded I was driving my car this morning and I'm so not one of those girls, Dr. O, that drives on a quarter of a tank. Uh, I, I'm, I don't do Because any husband in here knows that if we say we go going to the store, we go going to several stores. Oh, I wish I had some girls on this side. And I've always just got in the habit of putting enough gas in my car so that I can never be stopped by anything called gas. Y'all ain't screaming at me. <laughs> because even, even, uh, even for those of us, when we drive a car on a quarter of a tank or almost at E, there's a different ride to the car than if you're driving on a full tank. Uh, the Bible says, and I'm done, uh, that he was fully persuaded. Uh, tag somebody and say, my tank uh, is getting ready to fill up now uh, because I am fully persuaded. Uh, that this is my year y'all ain't decreeing it I said I am fully persuaded you cannot change my mind there is no circumstance that can make me drop the ball get somebody by the hand and say I am fully persuaded that we are in the season of manifest say get ready agape this is our manifest season I said get ready agape things just shifted for us I said get ready agape things just got accelerated just for us somebody scream say You are fully persuaded. No matter how the situation looks, tag somebody and say, as bad as it may appear, I've got a word from the Lord that things are getting ready to turn around. Say, I prophesy that by February the 1st, things will have turned around because I am fully persuaded and I say us and we we cannot wait to see what God's going to do I said we cannot wait to see the glory of God we cannot wait to see it manifested somebody scream up in here
saying nothing. When I get up in the morning, I'm going to say it's on the way. I said, when I get up in the morning. He says, Most of us, all we need is a little boost. I was listening to some of the saints at another church this afternoon, and all they kept saying is, I'm tired. I'm so tired. I don't know why I'm so tired. And by the time I got to the hotel, I was so tired. I said, I I ain't got no tired spirit. I said, that was their spirit that kept talking to me. Tag somebody and say, I ain't tired. I'm in my high place right now. And things are getting ready to change for me. So I'm coming up in my praise. I said, I'm coming up in the glory. I said, I'm coming up. If we are going to see manifest, we cannot be shallow and we cannot be staggering. We must be steadfast and unmovable and always pounding in the work of the Lord. I got back to the room, I said, Lord, I ain't tired. But you know what? That's what the enemy wants to do. If he can wear you out, he can cause you to miss your manifest. My last point is that you never know when manifest is coming. The Bible says, and I'm done. The Bible says that when they showed up at Sarah and Abraham's house, Sarah laughed. And the prophet said, the angel said, by this time next year, you will have already had your child. Look at somebody and say, when you see me next January, all I'm going to talk about is my year of manifest. Everybody standing. Don't be wavering. Don't be inconsistent. Don't pay your tithes one Sunday and then talk about how broke you are the next. Don't come in here with your arms folded like you don't know we praise God hard. You got to come in like David did. He said, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. And then be very careful who you permit to talk into your ear gates. Because people will say things to you and you'll say it really didn't bother you. But just like everybody kept saying, they was tired. That same spirit of tiredness just 
overtook me. Get somebody by the hand and say, this is the year that I can't wait to see what God does in your life. And because I'm so secure in what he's going to do for me, I'm going to praise God for everything he's getting ready to do for you. Now put a praise on it right now. Praise him for your neighbor. 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 I said praise him for your neighbor. Praise him like you see your name already blessed. Now look at that name and say, I appreciate that you praise God for me. But my manifest is bigger than just one person. So I'm going to praise God for everybody that's on my row. Because my whole row is getting ready to see the manifestation. Hey. I said praise it for everybody on your row. Because when you get it, Everybody on the road gon' get it. When the blessing comes, it's gon' tap my whole road. on your road and say I'm just bringing the manifestation that was on my road right onto your road because this is the year that double things are coming to us say double blessings are coming to us double appointments are coming to us double promotions are coming to us double jobs are coming to us Somebody's 
there with the red hair, just lift your hands. You and those other three ladies next to you, just lift your hands. I just hear the word of the Lord saying, the fire is over. The storm is over. I hear the word of the Lord saying, you can run out of the fire now. Because it is already over. Say it, the Lord. Somebody praise him up here. for the manifestation. God cannot lie. Whatever he has said that you shall do, you have the potential to do it. God does not give us the spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. Tell fear to back up. Get out of your thoughts. Get out of your way. I've got power. I've got love. And I've got a sound mind. Sometimes you got to tell the devil, no weapon. Sometimes you got to tell the devil, God is the greatest power. I shall never be defeated. Come on, lift your hands to the Lord. Let's pray. God never said it would be easy, but he did say you could do it. Little did Abraham know that when God spoke that word, he would have to wait years before he saw the manifest. But he knew he had a word from God. And when I've got a word from God, nothing, nothing can shake me. Nothing can shatter me. Nothing can knock me down because God's got my back. And you know what faith says? Faith says, I can't figure this thing out. Only God can do it. That's what faith says. Because his ways are higher than my ways. And his thinking is greater than my thinking. Come on, lift your hands to the Lord. Most gracious Father, we bless you and we thank you. Thank you because we cannot wait to see it. We heard it Sunday, but we needed to hear it again. We needed to know that we are full of purpose needed to know that we have great potential we needed to know that our faith needed to be ignited and that we needed to become stronger stronger in our faith 
Thank you for the word of God that increases us. Thank you for the word of God that does not change. If you spoke it to Abraham, you can speak it to us. Thank you for this year that we shall see what you have spoken. Genesis says, and God said it. And I saw it. Everything that he said, he began to see. Father, we bless you again and again. Bless these, your people, cause our ears to be charged. Destroy everything that the enemy would put through our ears that would deter us from the promises of God. We thank you for working on the inside of us, for greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Thank you that we take on boldness now. Thank you that we are not weakened in our faith, but we are made strong. Thank you for increasing us from faith to faith and glory to glory. Thank you for every hand that's lifted. It's filled with purpose and potential. Bless them accordingly. Thank you for the seed that we shall even sow into what we know. Thank you for this great year. No matter what it looks like, it shall be a great year. No matter what the political climate is, it shall be a great year. No matter how many times the enemy says it's coming this way, this shall be a great year. A year of, of your greatness and of your wonder. Thank you for increasing our jobs. Thank you for increasing our homes. Thank you for increase in our hearts and in our minds. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for the neighbor that sat next to me and touched me all night long. Thank you for even the blessing that's on me shall follow through on my neighbor. Thank you for this great time. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we do pray. Will you hug somebody and say, I can't wait. I can't wait to see it. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. Can I do this? Can I can I ask you to do this before we start walking? Please don't walk without the benediction. Tonight I'm going to ask every man and every woman that can and will to sow a faith seed. Some of us would sow even a $50 seed. And every person that has a $20 seed tonight, I'm going to ask that you sow that seed. There are 55 people in here tonight. You need to sow even that $50 seed. I just know that by sowing seed, seed causes us to reap harvest. And oftentimes when we hear word, we don't sow seed back into the word. Look at somebody and say, but what I'm getting ready to get is bigger than what I could even give. Father, bless them as they come right now with their seeds. Cause it, Father. Cause it to come back to them even by tomorrow. In the name of Jesus. Some will do it. Online givers, please do that. Thank you. Thank you for the seed that you're sowing. Those of you that are using your mobile devices, thank you. Thank you so much. I see you coming. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless all the musicians. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you. I see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you again and again. God bless you. Would you do me one last favor and give God the best praise that you've got? Will you give him the best praise that you've got? Will you give him the best praise that you've got? Will you charge the atmosphere with your praise? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Dr. O is coming. 